Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. All is quiet on the radar for us right now. A little more cloud cover than what we had out there just two, three hours ago. And that will be the trend here tonight. Clouds are going to build in and tomorrow looks to be for the most part mostly cloudy. Maybe a few breaks of sun early. Most of tomorrow is dry until after about maybe 4, 430 when we may start to see a few rain and or snow showers working their way into our westernmost counties. It's really tomorrow evening when things could get a little bit active for us. Out farther east, it looks like it's mainly going to be rain, but in areas along and west of the parkway, especially towards the highlands, that's where we're going to pick up on some light snow. Now, it looks like we're going to have the opportunity for this precipitation from 5 p.m. tomorrow through around 2 a.m. on Friday. After that, later, say Thursday night into Friday morning, the trend will be for us to start to clear things out, and I would say by Friday afternoon, most of us should be mostly sunny again, short-lived as more clouds come back into play for us here as we head into Friday night. So as far as snowfall accumulation from say late tomorrow afternoon into late Thursday night areas say towards Highland and Bath and perhaps northern parts of Rockbridge counties, we could see one to three inches of snow there. So again, Highland's probably going to see the most snow come late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Then you head farther down to the south into most parts of the New River Valley, including Bland, Wyth, Floyd, Carroll, uh, Montgomery, Giles counties, even towards the Roanoke Valley up north into Botetourt, southern Rockbridge counties, perhaps towards even the higher elevations of Amherst, Nelson, and Bedford counties. We could see up to one inch of snow. That's zero to one inch of snow possible for this area shaded in gray. Then we have to turn our attention to the weekend storm system and something called cold air chasing is going to happen as we head into, uh, say, Sunday morning. Uh, is the cold air going to catch up to any remaining moisture, say around lunchtime on Sunday? That's the million dollar question. We think it might towards mountains and we could see a light accumulation towards the mountains as we say head say towards the Sunday morning time frame. But if you're a fan of snow, you don't like to see this track. This track is too far west and eventually too far to the north. So as we take a look at the impacts for you for this weekend, heavy rain, we're going to put that on the moderate to high side. We think we're going to pick up on some heavier downpours late Saturday, especially into Saturday night. Wintry precipitation, we'll put that on the low end for now, but again, watching us along in west of I-81, you could pick up on a little bit of snow as we head, say, Sunday morning for just a couple of hours. Maybe an inch or two possible. I don't think anything more than that at this point. Gusty wind, we're going to put that on the higher side. We do think that we're going to get some really big time gusty winds in here as we head into Sunday, Sunday night into Monday and a flash freeze. We're going to put that on the moderate end of things. There is that chance for a flash freeze. Let me explain what that is. We could pick up anywhere from around a half an inch to an inch of rain between Saturday and Sunday. In addition to that, we're going to have cold, cold Arctic air moving in later Sunday, Sunday night into Monday morning. So if there's any leftover rain on area roadways heading into, say, dinner time on Sunday, that could mean some freezing on area roadways of that lingering rain on the roadway. So we're going to be watching for that potential for a flash freeze from, say, late Sunday into Sunday night, maybe even into Monday morning. Keep in mind, the winds are really going to pick up, and that could actually aid us a little bit in drying the pavement out a little bit quicker. 32 in Blacksburg, also in Lynchburg. 35 Smith Mount Lake, also in Roanoke. Look at wind chills come Monday morning. As you head out the door Monday morning, we are looking at wind chills, some maybe 10 to 15 below towards parts of the Highlands and the New River Valley, going to feel below zero in Roanoke, Lynchburg, perhaps towards Smith Mountain Lake and Martinsville. May feel like zero to five towards Danville and South Boston. Coldest air of the season comes into play for us here as we head into Sunday late day into Monday. So look at those highs. Over the weekend, 46 Saturday, 44 on Sunday, but temperatures will fall into the 20s by dinner time Sunday. And then on Martin Luther King Day, we're looking at highs around 29. Low to mid 30s for some of us on Tuesday, lower 40s by Wednesday. We're dry Monday, dry Tuesday, and then the chances there for a little bit of rain come next Wednesday.